Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Malicious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply. Leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future. As well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope that you all are doing well and feeling well on tonight. So let's see what's going on with you all. Okay. That's too many cards there. That could be a, a water sign feeling stuck in some type of way. Due to uh, finances, money, or resources. Spirit, what else is going on? We keep getting a group of messages falling out at one time, y'all. Okay, so we have the world here, okay? So the world talks about uh, a completion of something, a regeneration, a rejuvenation um, of... A, a, a situation here something has gone full cycle something has come to an end for something new to begin okay we have the king of wands here Sagittarius, Aries or Leo masculine we have the two of swords here somebody is at a crossroads somebody could be dealing with some type of indecision okay however somebody is at that crossroads so eventually somebody is going to make a decision this could be um a legal decision this could be a hasty decision if this is just an individual person making a wrong decision or a bad decision here okay but somebody is in mental conflict about a decision being made nonetheless here okay somebody could be dealing with stress anxiety sleepless nights uh, not able to eat sleep think okay depression stress as it relates to a situation something is definitely centered around some type of decision making here or some type of decision that was made you have both the two of swords and the two of wands okay page of swords here okay so the page of swords talks about gossip okay in the energy in, in just the energy um this is gossip this is rumors this is you know uh heard it through the grapevine type of energy this could be cutthroat and ruthless this could be brutally honest it just depends on what's being said or and by whom okay however we know the pages are children in the terms of a young um individual here okay so uh if there could be a situation with a uh, air sign child aquarius libra gemini however um if we're just going off the energy of the page of swords then like i said that speaks to gossip rumors um and different things like that okay we have the seven of swords here somebody is there's some type of lies deception manipulation trickery okay with the seven of swords here a lot of swords energy here Somebody could be lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking and creeping around, trying to get away with something here. Okay? This could be the reason why there has been a completion of something, an ending of something. Um, here. Yeah, the moon card. There's a lot of things that's being hidden, secret, covered up. Uh, there could even be some type of criminal activity going on. We know that the moon talks about secret things, hidden things, and what's done in the dark. It can even talk about shady people, dirty dealings, um, decisions being made, sneaky, freaky, creepy things, low down and dirty things, um, illusions, fear, hiding things, moon magic. Um, the moon card talks about a lot, but the bottom, you know, the bottom line is, is something that was secret, hidden, going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind someone's back, is being illuminated. Something that was secret, hidden, or covered up is being illuminated in some type of way here, okay? 
Spirit, what's going on here? And it's interesting because this King of Wands, he is facing looking directly at this world card here, okay? So whatever is going on with this individual and everything else that is happening here, some of this person could definitely be dealing with an air sign individual. Or even possible legal matters or something like that, okay? But this person could definitely be dealing with an air sign individual because there's a lot of air energy here. Two of swords, nine of swords, page of swords, seven of swords here, okay? There was some type of indecision in this person being in mental conflict, but some type of decision or action was taken uh, nonetheless here. Um but there's some type of gossip and rumors that's going around. Speculations, accusations. Um, somebody could even be sharp tongue, cutthroat, ruthless, or whatever. But there's some type of lies. Lying, cheating, stealing, deception, manipulation, even loss. Okay? There's a lot of things that's secret and hidden and covered up here. Okay? So we have the Seven of Cups here, okay? This is under the Nine of Swords. There's a, the, the Seven of Cups talks about possibilities. It talks about choices, options, decisions, okay? It can speak to several different things. There's something different in each one of these cups here, okay? So what has this person in mental conflict, what has this person stressed and depressed and dealing with anxiety and unable to sleep or think or, you know, eat or function is a multitude of different things, okay? A multitude of different things that's been going on in secret that's been hidden that's been covered up in some type of way or um, possibly even criminal activity in some way shape form or fashion okay spirit give us one more There's definitely some type of change. I asked for one more and I got two. I got the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups here, okay? So, this Eight of Cups talks about change here, okay? It talks about a shift. It talks about a change uh, occurring here, okay? And it also, with the Ace of Cups, talks about extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions, okay? Some type of decision was, whatever decision was made, it brought about a change or it, it the decision was made because of some type of change. But there's extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions as it relates to this situation here, okay? There's a lot of different things that's going on. But there has been a completion of something, an ending to something. You have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck here, okay? The Four of Cups can talk about boredom, someone being bored, someone being uh, dissatisfied, someone crying over spilled milk. Um, the Four of Cups can even talk about some type of uh, a small offer of some kind. That's what's going on here, y'all, okay? Okay? So let's get a few more clarifiers before we uh, jump into some other messages to see what's going on here, okay? There's been a completion of something, though. Something has come to an end because of some type of gossip or rumors. Spirit, clarify the world. So we have the three of swords here, okay? So this talks about heartache, heartbreak, sadness, sorrow, misery, pain, anguish, okay? Um, this could even be some type of third-party interference of some kind. Spirit, clarify um, this king of wands and the seven of swords. King of wands, seven of swords. So somebody is definitely dealing with an air sign. King of wands, seven of swords. King of Wands, Seven of Swords, Spirit. Damn, I see Judgment, Death, as well as the Eight of Pentacles here. So there, I feel like there's some type of judgment that is being made against this fire sign individual. Rather masculine, this person 
this person is coming out as masculine they came out as the king of wands so this is actually this either is actually a masculine or this is a feminine woman who's very dominant okay but there's some type of the judgment card can talk about judgments from others okay especially tying into that page of swords energy um however this could be some type of judgment or decision being made here okay but whatever is going on here is caused has caused some type of heartache or heartbreak because of some type of judgment or decision that has been made so to clarify the two of swords in the moon Clarify the two of swords in the moon so we have the three of coins here okay the, now the three of coins talks about collaborations it talks about contracts talents skills abilities okay usually when you see the three excuse not the three of ones but the three of coins usually when you see the three of coins um there's a group of individuals who have collaborated together for the purposes of money okay I feel like there was some type of bad decision or wrong decision that individuals uh, uh, collaborated together to partake in. That's why this 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 two of swords is tied into this moon here. Something something um, some type of criminal activity was going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind someone's back in some type of way. Um, money is somehow involved here. Okay, spirit so clarify the nine of swords and the seven of cups. Queen of Wands, okay? So remember like I told you, now that fire sign is coming back out, okay? So for some of y'all, this is going to be a fire sign masculine. For others of you all, this is going to be a fire sign woman here. This woman is in mental conflict. She's stressed. She's depressed. She's dealing with anxiety. Um, due to the multiple different things that's happening, that's going on, okay? Um, that this woman has, has, you know, partook in. Different things that's going on with this person here. To clarify the two of wands with the, the eight of cups and the ace of cups, we have the devil here, okay? So we know that if somebody could, the, first of all, the devil talks about darkness, evil, wickedness, it's sinister energy, okay? Um, the devil talks about any and everything from temptations to desires to bad habits to toxicity to addictions to addictive patterns of behavior it even can speak of one who have sold they sold to the devil or sold out to the devil or or have um very evil wicked demonic uh, uh, uh ways about themselves in some type of way somebody is chained to this devil though so you got heartache and heartbreak here, some type of judgment decision being made, some type of collaboration for the purposes of money, and a fire sign who is chained to the devil here, okay? There's a lot of things that's going on. Yeah, Ace of Swords at the bottom of this deck here. So some type of truth or clarity has come out or is going to come out as it relates to the situation here. But, I mean, there's some of everything going on here. Endings and completions, gossip, rumors, uh, backstabbing, backbuying, lying, lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking and creeping around, trying to get away with something, loss, bad decisions, uh, legal decisions, mental conflict, stress, worry, depression, action being taken, other decisions being made, okay? It's just a lot has going on. Secret things, hidden things, cover-ups, okay? change spirit clarified the world page of swords and three of swords the world page of swords three of swords please so we have endorsement here somebody was persuaded bribed or tempted in some way shape form or fashion somebody was paid to go along with something they could have been bribed or tempted or persuaded to go along with something yeah there's that collaboration here okay um this has backup, uh, unity, enhancement here. So this person was involved in some type of collaboration with a group of other people for, um, like there's some type of theft that went on here. Somebody was bribed, tempted, or persuaded, paid to go along with some type of collaboration, some type of contractual agreement of some kind, okay? Now this person is dealing with gossip and room like something has gotten out here. Yeah. 
disaster here okay this person took a risk now they're dealing with frustration and trying to survive here because something um something has caused a disaster or ended drastically okay spirit clarify um nine of swords seven of cups and the queen of wands nine of swords seven of cups queen of wands so I see robbery here. Something has to do with a robbery, a theft, exploitation of something or someone. Okay, this talks about incaution as well as unfairness here. Okay, there, I feel like there's several different things that's been going on. Lying, deception, thievery, a multitude of different things is happening here. Okay, Spirit clarify two of ones, eight of cups, ace of cups, and the devil. So you got briberies, persuasions, temptations, collaborations, um, disaster, theft, robbery. Sorry, what else is going on here? We have hesitation here. This hesitation card talks about decisions, confusions, worry. Okay. So it's like this person has a, a it's interesting because if you look at this person here, it looks like they have an angel and a demon on their shoulder. Um, this person is hesitating in some type of way, needing to make some type of decision or some type of decision is being made. Okay. They're in some type of confusion about something. They're worried about something. Yeah, we got justice here. There could be something legally that's going on here. Some type of legal matter could be taking place here. We also have trap here. Okay? Somebody is trapped in a situation that they got themselves involved in. This is victim allure trick. what else is going on here this person is definitely dealing with some type of disturbance here spirit what else is going on here yeah speaking of disturbance i see conflict here so there's a lot of arguing arguing fighting fussing cussing disagreements misunderstandings going on behind the scenes this has differences of opinions disputions quarrels okay it's like somebody is dealing with a nightmare right now. This is suffering, darkness, persecution in some type of way here. We have disturbance at the bottom of the deck here, okay? I feel like this disturbance is due to some type of truth and clarity coming out pertaining to something here, okay? And this person is in boredom, discontent, dissatisfaction, heartache, heartbreak, sadness, sorrow, misery over this situation, guys. That's what's going on here. Spirit, are there any other messages? Any other messages? So I see these clowns way too cocky. Okay? Perhaps this person was very cocky. Or very arrogant. There's some type of... There was some type of ultimate betrayal for wealth, power, status, and privilege. There's some type of police involvement with something here. This person likes to live beyond their means. Spirit, what else is going on here? What else is going on here? Some type of important information may have, been, it may have gotten out or was found out or something. We have a narc need help. This person could be a narcissist. These folks sick. To, these fools sick to death for real. Spirit, so what else is going on here? Blood sacrifice. Mm -mm. I see big bad bullies. I keep 
seeing death as well as murder here. Somebody could have passed away. Someone's death could be significant to, to something that's going on. Obviously, money is a factor. I also keep seeing satanic cults. Some This is the second reading that I've done, and I'm seeing murder and poison. Somebody was murdered by being poisoned. Or somebody is going to be murdered by being poisoned. Spirit, what else is going on here? I see spiritual warfare. Saints versus sinners. Somebody could be somebody. Mm -mm. Somebody could be dealing with some spiritual warfare over some type of blood sacrifice, over some type of theft or robbery. Yeah, somebody is into um, somebody could be a part of some type of religious cult, secret society, witch coven. Um, or satanic cult in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Give us one more card, please, Spirit. I see fake phony Christians here. I also see sunken place. Ugliness in their hearts. Someone may overdose or be given an overdose of something. There's some type of swift communication as well that came into someone or someone's going to receive. Spirit, what else is going on here? What else is going on here? I see frost prophets and snakes. Wow. With fire energy here. Somebody is a false prophet and a snake. This fire sign. Again, bottom of the deck, I see important info here. So somebody could be receiving some type of important information, guys. That's what's going on here. Okay? Somebody is trapped. Somebody is somebody is like in a nightmare right now. They're dealing with a lot of conflict, uh, possibly amongst the other people that they collaborated with. Okay, um, and it's like they trapped themselves, or yeah, they're just trapped. And so there's some type of legal situation, a legal matter going on right now. I mean, there's like briberies, you know, like you know. <laughs> There's briberies, there's, 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 you know, backroom deals, collaborations, disasters, thefts, robberies, hesitations, lying, deception, stealing, like there's, a, there's several different things here, okay? Whoever this fire sign is, they're definitely dealing with an air sign person, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah. They're definitely dealing with an air sign person, but it seems like some type of legal matter has come up, especially with this justice card being here. Some type of legal matter has come up as it relates to what's going on here. Spirit is saying that this person is way too cocky. Spirit is saying this person is a narcissist that need help. They try to live beyond their means. Police is definitely involved. I, forget, uh, involved. I forgot police involvement was here as well as the justice card. So there's definitely some type of legal situation that's going on. But something that these people partook in and, and were doing, it was ultimate betrayal for wealth, power, status, and privilege. Okay? 
And there's gossip, there's rumors that's going around about how this person has lied, cheated, stole about things that's supposed to be that was supposed to be secret and hidden and covered up. This person has been involved in a lot of different things here and there's some type of change that has happened or is taking place and this person is in their feelings and their emotions about it. But there's been a completion or an ending that's, that, that has come to this person because of a decision that has been made and this person is in mental conflict about it. Okay, guys? So I thank you all so much for listening and for watching. If you'll be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any persons interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tiff diamond 36 or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby signing. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil just lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Guys, I don't know what's going on with the fire signs, okay, today, but this is the second reading I have done, and these fire signs have come out, okay, whether masculine or feminine, um, that you may know or be dealing with, um, or what have you, but something is definitely going on with the fire signs, okay, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, okay, it's got a lot going on, okay. Till the next time, guys. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.